This is part two. Um, what I want you to do is start by looking at what you have so far and looking at your purple dots. This is a very thin paint, so you might need to go back over and do a second coat. And I've already done that. So uh, pause this and do your second coat. Now, the next thing is you should have four inches of these colors and you'll see um, from inches four to six will be our next colors so I'm going to keep that there and we're going to begin putting um, our next colors across the canvas what you want to do is we have um, orange and red paint and you want to make a third color by mixing the orange and red to make red orange or orange red. So um, get your um, cup and pour it in and mix less red and more orange. And then take your the back of your paintbrush and mix the two together. Get a good mix on that. So the, for these three colors, we're going to begin making dots across the page. So let's start with red. Get your red paint and begin doing your dots across the page underneath what you already have. You'll notice the red is a very thin paint, like purple, so you might need a second coat on this. So it should look something like this. When you're going across with the red, you want to start thinking about blending in the new colors with the old. So you start overlapping some of them over the blues and purples with the red. You'll also notice that the red is very thin and you're going to need a second coat. So we'll get the second coats later. Let it dry and then start now going across with the orange paint. So it should look something like this. Um, while you're doing uh, orange or red orange, you also want to take a moment to paint your sides. I don't think I told you that with the purple and the blue. Don't do this area in the orange. We'll have to go back with another color to do the, um, the edges. So the next is to take your new color that you mixed, the red-orange, and go across making dots with the red-orange after the orange has dried. adjust your color as needed. Mine was too orange and when I start putting it on it looks so much like orange so I had to add more red to it. So let's see what that looks like now. That's a little better. That's a good red orange. So I'm going to go across with this color. So as you can see the um, red orange filled in a lot of the white but just like when we did these colors, there's a lot of white spots left and you don't want to overdo the orange. So let's go back to the red because you want this, like the painting, to be have more red in it. So um, we're going to go across with red. And as you're doing it, also go over your first red dots because they have little white centers in them. And make sure you always start with a very dry brush. Get a paper towel and dry it because you don't want to wet this red anymore. It's already thin. Okay, so I'll start that now. And you want to think about filling in those uh, white spots. So I went across doing the red and it's still very wet. Um, what I want you to start thinking about doing now, as you see in the painting, there's a transition. It's not like blue stripe and red stripe. We have to blend the blues and the purples with the reds and the oranges. So while you still have your red paint, 
go back for about one inch from inches three to four and you're going to do some random red dots across there not a lot just some because then we're going to go back with the red and then again with the red and the orange and i'll show you what i mean so you're going to just put some red dots across here my dots aren't coming out very good right now. And then I want you to um, do that with the orange and the red dots also. So you see the transition of what that looks like behind that tree. So let me show you what that looks like. You have some random red dots going over the blue and the purple, and then you have some random orange. Try not to make it too uniform. Try to make it just here, there, and everywhere. And then look at your painting, stand back and see, like, where do I need more orange? So you see I don't have any orange in this area, so I'm just going to go back in and just place a dot right there, because I want that to blend. And then I went through and did the white spaces with the orange, and I'm going to go back with red-orange and put some of that in to blend it. Okay, so I've got my red-orange paint ready on my brush, and I'm going to just put some random uh, red-orange dots, not too many, maybe one about there, maybe one about there, mm, maybe up here a little bit, next to this red one, just to blend the two. Then I'm going to look over and see if I have any white dots that I could get covered with this color, and I do. I have one right there, and I got one there. Okay, 